Sir Henry Rayburn was a renowned British painter who was born on March 4, 1756 in Edinburgh, United Kingdom. He remained based in Scotland and became the country's first significant portrait painter since the Union. Rayburn became famous during the Romanticism period and his primary field was portrait painting. He was influenced by William Hogarth's use of humor and satire and developed his style further by embracing the Romanticism movement. He was affiliated with Scottish school and served as portrait painter to King George IV in Scotland. Rayburn had many friends and co-workers, including Sir Walter Scott, a novelist who was also involved in the world of visual arts. His contribution to portrait painting was highly respected, and his influence extended beyond his personal artistic achievements. Henry Rayburn was born in 1756 and raised in Edinburgh. He began his education at Harriet's Hospital after being orphaned, and at the age of 15 he was apprenticed to a goldsmith. He soon turned to producing carefully finished portrait miniatures, which saw him gain success and patronage. Afterwards, he became a self-taught oil painter. Rayburn traveled to Italy to gain more knowledge in his craft and was well received by Sir Joshua Reynolds in London. He also met his fellow Scot Gavin Hamilton, Pompeo Girolamo Batoni, and antique dealer buyers. He studied in Italy for two years and gained a thorough understanding of his craft. In 1787, he returned to Edinburgh and began a very successful career as a portrait painter. Rayburn was considered to have been very fortunate in his time as a portrait painter since many of the great and famous residents of Edinburgh available to be painted, such as Sir Walter Scott, Hugh Blair, Henry Mackenzie, Lord Woodhouse Ali, William Robertson, John Holm, Robert Ferguson, and Douglas Stewart. Rayburn himself was included in his mature works, such as his portrait and that of the Reverend Sir Henry Moncrief Wellwood. He painted some other beautiful portraits such as Sir John Sinclair, Alexander Keith of Ravelston, Midlothian, and General Sir William Maxwell. He was quite selective in choosing artists to paint and only did two artists, one of whom was Sir Francis Leggett Chantry, the most important and famous British sculptor of the first half of the 19th century. Recently, it has been revealed that Rayburn and Chantry were close friends, and Rayburn took exceptional care over the execution of his portrait of the sculptor, one of the painter's mature bust-length masterpieces. Rayburn was fascinated by the daughter of Peter Edgar of Bridgelands, and, when he was sketching from nature in the fields, and the couple married shortly afterward, and brought him an ample fortune, which did not affect his enthusiasm or hard work, but instead spurred him on to acquire a thorough knowledge of his craft. Rayburn also painted a little girl holding flowers, which is known as Portrait of Nancy Graham, a portrait of Mrs. and Hart, and a portrait of Lucius O'Byrne, Bishop of Meath. He passed away in 1823 in Edinburgh and left behind a legacy as one of Scotland's most famous portrait painters. In conclusion, Henry Rayburn was a highly influential British painter who was a true master of portraiture. His dedication to his craft enabled him to produce great works of art and contributed to the development of the Romanticism movement. Rayburn was renowned for his ability to capture the true essence of his subjects, and his precision and skill with paint is evident in his works. His work received widespread recognition and he became one of Scotland's most famous portrait painters. Rayburn's legacy continues to inspire new generations, and his influence on the art world is still felt today.